good morning everyone see previously we studied about one of the examples for mono hybrid cross so out of the seven contrasting characteristic features we can take any one character for doing mono hybrid cross see if in first example we took stem height as a character in that we cross tall and dwarf pea plant now I'll do seed color. So I've told you out of this seven, you have to do three examples. You can try in a remaining characteristic feature. Now I'll take seed color. So if you take seed color as a character in that yellow is the dominant character and green is the recessive character. So when it comes to parents, it will be yellow and green remember we are doing mono hybrid cross that is inheritance of one gene that is nothing but law of segregation or law of purity of gametes so this is seed color if we take seed color as an example in that parents will be yellow and green so for that i told you to learn this table see if you learn this table that means when it comes to seed color instantly you should remember yellow and green that is dominant and recessive character okay see when it comes to this we know that yellow is dominant and green is recessive see dominant means it will express this characteristic feature so as this is dominant we'll take first letter of the dominant character two times that is capital Y and capital Y that should be crossed with green see as green is recessive as we have taken capital Y and capital Y for yellow same letters that means the same letter dominant characteristic features small letters we have to write so we have to write small letter Y and small letter Y so these are the gametes so you have to mention each and everything not simply crossing over you have to mention the parents gametes then we can take one y capital here and one small y capital make sure that while writing capital and small letter it should appear differently then octasyngamy just we need to join capital Y and small y so this this condition is called as homozygous yellow no need to mention homozygous yellow it is understood and this is homozygous green but this is as alleles are different so this condition is called as heterozygous here you have to write heterozygous Due to the presence of one capital Y, the character that is expressed here will be yellow. No doubt, the dominant character get expressed. See the first generation, what we'll get? That means by crossing the parents soon after the syngamy or fertilization, the hybrid obtained is nothing but this is called as F1 generation first filial generation no need to write the full form you can write f1 generation even f1 generation will get heterozygous yellow next step is f1 selfing we need to cross f1 that is capital y and small y into capital y capital y see f1 selfing is f1 into f1 so f1 will be capital y and small y so that should be cap um, crossed with same capital y and small y so in order to do f1 selfing we need to draw punit square capital y small sorry sorry capital Y small y capital Y 
be a small y. You can draw this table by using scale. See capital Y small y. Capital Y small y. Again capital Y small y. This side. Then just we need to cross it and we need to write. So here it will be capital Y and capital Y. Capital Y small y. Capital Y small y. Then y capital Y small y. Then small y small y. So don't make it complicated. Just you need to cross this y with this ones and secondly with this. Then same thing. This y with capital Y. Then with small y. We'll get four combinations. So this will be two capital letters means that is homozygous yellow. This is also yellow but this is two alleles are different this is heterozygous yellow capital Y small y heterozygous yellow two small y means that is recessive character that is green this is homozygous green then finally we need to write F2 ratio that is first we need to write phenotypic ratio that will be always 3 is to 1 when it comes to mono hybrid cross phenotypic ratio is always 3 is to 1 3 means that means phenotypic means externally if we see we will get 3 yellow then 1 means this green externally if we see we will get 3 yellow and only 1 green so 3 is to 1 is a phenotypic ratio and genotypic ratio will be always 1 is to 2 is to 1 when it comes to monohybrid cross 1 means homozygous yellow homozygous yellow 1 then 2 heterozygous yellow You write completely heterozygous yellow then one ratio is this homozygous green homozygous green see while drawing this table you leave two lines gap here one to write gametes second line to write the character and in third line you can draw this line so it looks good so this is monohybrid cross first you have to write example you have to mention which character you are taking then you have to write parents parents means in that character which are the dominant and recessive character then gametes first um, writing the dominant character first letter two times and here same letters small letters you have to write then taking one one letter common then fusing them and writing that is F1 generation then you have to write its characteristic feature then F1 selfing F1 into F1 just you need to cross it by putting the spoonet square you have to cross and you have to write the gametes then you have to write its characteristic feature that will be useful to write the ratio finally you have to mention what is the phenotypic ratio 3 is to 1 genotypic ratio 1 is to 2 is to 1 so you have to do similar examples by taking any of these characteristic which I have done the stem height and seed color remaining five characters are there out of that five you perform any three examples in your running notes hope it is understood if you have any doubts you can clarify thank you